Melissa and thanks for watching my channel. I am the Traveling Mama and today I'm giving you a review on our new campground called Moss Park. is huge. It is in Orlando, Florida and it is 1,500 acres. They've got a lot of stuff here. They've got hiking, um, they've got different camping, like you can actually have camps here, you could have different events. There is so much space here. It's by water, um, they have two playgrounds, and it's just beautiful. Look at all these trees. Oh, they just go for days and days. Um, it is not full hookups here. They have water, they have electric, but they have no sewer. They have uh, max days you can stay is 14 days and no more than three consecutive weekends. Um, this is part of the Orange County Parks and Rec, so I would say it's a little bit more stricter. Um, some of the policies here, like uh, you're not allowed to hang any hammocks in the trees or any sort of lines whatsoever. They've got no alcohol, no pets, um, no collecting of firewood. Quiet hours though, I kind of like. Quiet hours is from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. So that's pretty nice because I work online and it's really hard to um, to work when you have a loud campground. So that's, that's nice. Um, they've got several, several playgrounds around the place. Um, however, they are kind of far away from the campgrounds. I wish they were a little bit closer. Uh, it took us Oh, probably about five minutes to walk up to a playground and they're really nice though I'll have to show you a little bit later what they look like this campground is pretty quiet during the week but once the weekend comes um, it starts getting a little bit more busier they also have a volleyball court they have fishing they have a dump station so there's no sewer but you can dump uh, they have showers hiking trail, I think I already said, and just lots of beautiful um, sceneries, lots of trees. Um, let's see, we paid $23 a night, so it's very, very reasonable price. Um, um, lots of wildlife here, wow. They have, they've got lots of lizards. They've got squirrels. We've seen, oh, the cranes here are unbelievable. They just come right to your campsite. I seriously probably was like five feet away from um, a couple of cranes. They were just digging in the dirt. It was interesting. <laughs> um, let's see, we've seen lizards, we've seen squirrels, cranes. Um, we've seen what we think were scavengers. We weren't exactly sure, but ooh, scary. <laughs> They also said that you can see um, fox and bobcats, so oof, another scary thing. <laughs> um, we had a few troubles the first night we were here. We came in and we got here about 6.05, they close at 6, so we were only about five minutes late, um, but we were coming from East Point, Florida, so uh, it took us about seven hours to get here and we tried to go as quickly as we could, but we still just didn't make it. Um, quite in time and um, the campsite was closed the gates were closed and we were lucky enough we didn't have to wait that long because a ranger came up and they um, were telephoning the office to see if we had a reservation we did um, but they couldn't find it so we didn't really know what what was going on and um, we were waiting and waiting for them to find a reservation and then come to find out that we were booked at a different sister campground and we didn't have a reservation. So they ended up um, uh, telling us, you know, the other campground was 60 uh, minutes away and it was already six o'clock at night. I had to start working at 7.30, so I was really nervous that I was gonna be able to get to my campsite and set up before I had to start. And uh, yeah, so 
we um, asked them if they would allow us to stay here instead and we could cancel the other one. And they were really nice and they um, had to ask um, the rest of the people in the office and it all ended up working out and we were able to stay here. So we've been here now for six nights and it's been really great except for the first, first night was a little bit stressful. Um, but it is very beautiful here. Uh, it's really quiet during the week. Um, and let's see, it's just, you know, just very naturous, lots of wildlife. And um, yeah, I think you would like it. It's definitely a good price. Um, I do recommend making sure that you're booking the right campground <laughs> and everything should go good. So um, let me show you a little bit around the campground. It is so big. Like I said, it's 1,500 acres. So um, I'll just take you to a couple of different places. I'll take you to the showers right now, and then we will go to the playgrounds. All right, so let's go check out the bathrooms next. So the bathrooms aren't too far away from our campground. Um, as you can see, that's our camper, and if you follow this trail up here, it will take you straight to the bathroom. So I would say eh, it's probably about a quarter of a mile away from our camper. Maybe not quite that far, but it is a little bit of a trek over here. But, I mean, who can complain with this site, right? So there are so many trees here. So many trees. Today is a pretty, um, a busier day. It is Saturday now, so it's starting to come become busier, but during the week, the, this place around here is dead. It's got a nice little bridge here. And then there's the building for the bathrooms. So we can take a walk around. To the right, it's the bathrooms. And over here to the left, they've got some water. I'll show you this first. It says, no grease dumping. Please scrape off food and grease before washing dishes and sink. So this is actually pretty nice because they do not have dumping here or they don't have sewer here. So we take our dishes down here to wash them because we just don't want to fill up our um, camper. We've been here for a while and we're trying to just kind of milk it <laughs> a little bit so we we only have to dump when we leave. But uh, the, these are nice. There's two of them. So in case one's busy, you got the other one. And then you can just walk right around and on the other side is the bathroom. The right side is the women's, the left is the men's. We got a little bulletin board here. Firewood will be sold at the local Walmart. It has a map. Talks about hardware stores and then supermarkets and gas. All right, so let's take a look at the bathroom. So it's a little bit older than our last campground. These mirrors are fake mirrors. Sinks are a little bit on the dirty side. It's a little bit dated in here. They do have a changing station. They've got three showers, and they're actually pretty big sized. Um, they've got a little bench, and they have a shower curtain, they've got hooks. One thing that I don't like about the first two showers though is look at how low that is. You probably can't tell from, from here, but um, I had to kneel down to take a shower in the first two. But over here in the last one, 
This one has kind of a different um, faucet. So this one was easier. It was, it was all the way down here when I got here, but as you can see, it can actually move up. So this is the one that I always use when I come in here. So go to the last one if you need to shower, especially if you're tall like me. <laughs> they have bathrooms in here too. They've got um, three bathrooms. All right, so that's it. That's the shower bathhouse, anyways. And then, all right, so the playground is over here to my right, and then to the left, we've got some bathrooms. We will go to the playground. There are two playgrounds here, and they're pretty good sized. I think they're actually pretty nice playgrounds. They're newer. Lots of swings, slides. But one downside is that it is kind of far away from the campsites. This is closer to the group parking or the group camping with um, like big parties. But this is it. Pretty quiet around here. There are a few kids coming up to us right now, but other than that, it's just my daughter playing out there right now. All right, well that's it for Moss Park. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.